What's up, everybody? Welcome to Domination for Dummies Dome Edition. We'll get started right off the bat. Uh, right away, I just want to talk a little bit about this map in general and my feelings of it. Basically, in my view, this map sucks dick. Um, simply because, you know, it should play fast and hard and be full of action. Um, and you'll have those games, one out of, like, ten you play. But the, the thing about this map is no matter what, you're pretty much going to spawn in a building. So if you just have B-Flag, people are just going to camp in B-Flag. If you switch them and flip them into C, they're going to spawn in C and they're just going to sit there. Uh, if you put them in A, they're going to spawn in a dome and they're just going to sit in there. Uh, so basically, a map that has a lot of potential uh, pretty much sucks. So that's just my thoughts on it. Let's get started right away with some starting routes that I personally use when I play this map. Um, for starters, you'll see on this little diagram here, this is routes that people typically take. Uh, when they play on dome and they're spawning by A. But what I do is you spawn up and make sure that you double stun their spawn uh, right on that A flag. <clears throat> make sure you use stuns, not flashes. Because you want to kind of hold them there for those big like multi-kill sprays. Um, and don't even bother trying to throw a grenade on that. I see people do that all the time. There's absolutely no point in doing that because when you spawn there is spawn protection so grenades will not kill you so that's why you use stuns you throw the stuns on there right on that a flag and uh you can pick up some pretty good sprays i've got uh another clip coming up later on about that um so basically once you get a you just push around to whatever map that you want next now um on the other side, if you spawn at A, t sometimes, you know, I'll capture A, uh, but sometimes I'll just try to get out of there as fast as I can, simply because um, A is probably, you know, the the, the, the the flag that you do not want on this map. So usually I get out of there right away and push right up that uh, middle ramp that I'm looking at right now. And then I kind of see whichever flag the other team captures first, whether B or C, um, then I flank around. Because from this position, I would be coming up behind them either way. So um, that's usually what I do on this map for my starting routes. Uh, nothing fancy, but they do work good. All right, let's talk a little bit about spawns. As you see on this map here, um, all the little X's on this map indicate every single spawn on the map dome. Now, all the red X's are pretty much the main spawning areas, as you see inside the B building, the dome, and inside C. Um, not, In my opinion, not a very good idea to have all the main spawning points inside buildings. But uh, anyways, we look at this next diagram. It's showing, um, you know, the A. If you spawn at A, you're basically going to spawn inside the dome the entire game. Um, one of the more deadly traps on this map. So as you see this yellow line, if you actually do not pass this yellow line, like as a team, it's okay if one or two goes, but as a team, you don't push too far in they're gonna spawn inside uh the dome the entire game um you know so i'm not much of a spawn trapper at all i actually despise spawn trapping um you know but if it's something that floats your boat then you know I, that's what i'll kind of show you right here but this is a good example of knowing the spawns and also um, what a really shitty internet connection looks like as I spray like a full clip of bullets and uh, just get hit markers. But anyway, um, one of the more deadly spawn traps on this on this map, like like I said, if that's what floats your boat, if you spawn trap them inside B, 
and you actually do not enter the B building, that's where they're going to spawn the entire game. So you can have fun sitting in one spot staring at a doorway and wait for them to run out because they're not going to flip. Um, but you get one person inside that B building, they typically will flip. And um, I do that all the time because it's funny. <laughs> but uh, C is a little bit more tricky. Um, you know, there's only a couple spawn areas. It's a really small area. So the spawns flip fairly easy. Like if you take uh, the left stairway coming and going down there, it'll actually flip them into the dome area. Um, as you'll see, that's exactly what I do in this upcoming clip. Um, and I was doing that on purpose because I, you know, I really, really dislike this map just because the fact that um, what, wherever people spawn in this cave or in the B building or in a the dome, they don't leave it. So um, I really dislike this map. But, you know... As I, you know, spawn flips, I haven't really figured them out to as exactly how it all works. But I have noticed that um, basically every flip, if whether B, A, C, um, it seems like they're always going to flip to the dome. Uh, so if you like high action, you know, always be around that dome area and watch your back. All right, let's talk a little bit about capturing tips and spots, and we'll start off with the B flag. Now, if you have C flag and you're trying to capture B, uh, just simply look at this doorway that I'm looking at right now because the only spot that they're going to be spawning is in this uh, little room that I'm in right now. Unless you see on your minimap that your teammates are in that room, then they'll spawn uh, behind you by the Jeeps moving into A. Uh, if you have B flag like I do on this particular clip, they're just going to be spawning in the dome. So you just aim down sights at that doorway and kill them as they come out for some really easy kills. Um, now C has a couple different nice spots that you can uh, actually capture from. And you'll see a little bit right here as I go. This is one of them. If you have B flag and the other team has A um, then you're going to want to use this spot right here simply because the only spot that they're going to be coming from uh, is pretty much that that um, big long hallway you know, by the dome. Now if, you, if the other team has B flag then you want to use this that other spot right there uh, simply because they'll probably be coming from B flag uh, either down the stairs or in that middle so you have pretty good protection now i just want to say one thing i see so many fucking retards uh you know capturing flags that think that they're invisible when they're capturing a flag and they, they, they lay prone and pretend that nobody knows they're there and that is not how you capture a flag i'm sorry um when you capture a flag that's when you're in your most vulnerable state so if you don't feel safe, if you feel like, you know, you're not going to get it, hop off, run away, you know, push in and clear the area more. I can't stress um, that enough, especially, you know, one thing, laying prone can be good sometimes, but really just protect yourself. You're on the flag understand where the other team is spawning where they're going to be coming from and protect yourself as you see here if i was laying prone i probably would have died now i i you know i find an understanding of where they're going to be coming from and i pick up two two really easy kills um another tip don't ever ever try to capture a flag unless you know where the enemy team is and the area is clear so you'll see in this clip i'm not gonna jump straight on c right there and you know not knowing where the other team is so i just patrol the area for a little while picking up some kills um you know and trying to get a feel of where the other team is coming from before i hop on the flag now right here i was anticipating them spawning in the dome um, unfortunately, I have no idea where this guy comes from behind me, and I end up dying. Uh, but that's just something that's going to happen when you capture flags. You will die. Uh, you know, this is just a guide to kind of help your way. 
Um, but it doesn't mean you're going to get those captures every time because if you play, you know, good people, they're going to be trying to kill you, um, you know, just as much as you're trying to kill them. All right, and this last little part of this video for this week, um, I'm going to do a kind of a weekly thing on kind of a general discussion about um, domination. And I'll let you guys pick the discussion for next week's video. Yes, hopefully next week's video um, for the next map. But anyways, this week I want to talk a little bit about the Slayer support and objective roles and how people really confuse um, what they really mean. I'll be honest with you. I'd probably say 70% of the Call of Duty community think that they're a Slayer. Um, that meaning that their only job in an objective game is to get kills and put up kill streaks and that is the biggest line of bullshit that i have ever heard now i'm going to explain this once so fucking listen up all right the job of the slayer is not to to patrol a building um nowhere near the objective getting 50 kills and one death in the game but he's playing the objective because he's putting up kill streaks right no the job of the Slayer is to help out the objective and the support guys. So if someone's going in to capture B, the Slayer is going to be out in front of him pushing into their spawn and holding them back so that the support guys and the objective guys can get a nice easy capture. Now you guys see me all the time in my videos where I will not you know hop on the flag i'll run through it now the reason i do that is because you know either the area is not clear i'm not sure where the enemy team's coming from so that's what i'm doing i'm i'm jumping from roll to roll i'll play uh slayer support m objective many times switching roles throughout the game simply uh because that's what a good player does you know you're not fixed to one single role when you go into the game like you know, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade and all them. The reason they're so good is because they can score points, they can rebound, and they can pass the ball. They don't go into a game saying, well, guys, you know, I, I can't rebound or pass the ball today because I can only score points. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, you don't see that. And, you know, that's exactly the same thing that goes with Call of Duty. Just because you're, you have a 3KD doesn't mean you go into a game um, and only going for kills. If a flag needs to be capped, cap the flag. If you have teammates on the flag, be a support guy and push ahead. And you'll see that in a couple of videos or clips of mine in this video where I'll simply just go ahead, push up through the flag because I have two or three teammates on the flag. So I, you know, hold the other team back. Um... You know, so that's my little rant for for this week guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um you know and these videos are pretty long you know so i didn't really get to cover everything that i wanted to in this video so if there's some things i left out uh be sure to check out the next uh domination for dummies map which should be coming out next week uh to where i'll be given even more tips maybe go into you know specific details uh upon your guys's request so leave comments and you let me know what you guys think what i could do better you know some things that that you maybe already know or you you want to learn that i didn't put in the video so uh anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed peace out